Sonoran Pickards, November 16th, garage sale hall, Saturday. Garage selling, <clears throat> there is a lot. Everything down there, on that chair, on this table, that shirt, all this stuff right here. Just a crazy amount of stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me, epic day of garage selling. Start down here, these DVD sets. Um, these are Smallville and Angel, Fraggle Rock. Um, I got in a deal with all of these Nightmare Before Christmas Pops for $60. The Smallville DVDs, I have seasons 1 through 10, that goes for about $80. And then I haven't comped out the Angel and the there's like Sex in the City there and Fraggle Rock. And then skip over to these, what are they, Night, Nightmare Before Christmas Pops. There's just a bunch of them. There's two rows there. <clears throat> this one right here by itself actually sells for about $60. I, I looked that one up and like two others. I think the other two were like $15 a piece. So I haven't looked up the rest of them, but I've already made my money back on, on the whole purchase just on that or just on the Smallville DVD. So that's pretty good. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. I have a cold. <coughs> Pardon. Um, this right here is um, a big, huge buy I did. I spent $170 at the same garage sale. I got those boxes of bulk Lego, those bags of sets, not that box, but bag sets. There's a Wally -E in there worth about $40 to $100, somewhere in that range. You'd have to check it out. And another set that I think is worth $50 to $100, somewhere in that range. And all these Disney collectibles. That glass um, cookie jar, Alice in Wonderland. A uh, couple of these like snow globes, bunch of dwarves, and just a ton of Disney stuff. And all these are Magic the Gathering cards, and there's some more Magic the Gathering cards, and a different game called Shadow Run, and Star Trek the collectible card game cards. <clears throat> all that for 170 and that might seem a little high, but like I said, there's a set in there I think that's worth about $100. And then just this teapot there, or teapot, cookie jar, sorry, sells for about $60 to $70. So just on those two alone, I'll make back the $170. Um, there's a lot of rares when I was flipping through in these magic cards. Uh, I'd put, the value is crazy on these. It can be, you know, depending on which cards you get. Um, but it looked like good, good pickings to sell to Card Kingdom, so... I should make some good money. I couldn't tell you if I make a hundred or a thousand off of those. It's it's all variable when I you know when I go through them. But I do well when I see the types of rares that I was seeing when I flip through. So I, I suspect I would say a minimum of a hundred <clears throat> I'll make off that. And then some of these are worth fifty, sixty, a hundred dollars. Um, yeah, it was, it was a good buy. There was tons of other stuff too. I'm not thinking of that was in that buy. But um, picked up this Schwinn seat for a dollar. Looks fairly brand new. <clears throat> so I thought for a dollar I should be able to get like 20, 30 bucks for it, something like that. So we'll see. <clears throat> Actually bought this for a dollar as well. Bodum French press. I bought this just to just to use. <laughs> it's a, I'd say it's like 20 bucks for these in store, so just thought I'd get it to use. <coughs> This, um, I do not mess with sports cards at all, but I did buy these because, hey, let go of me. Stuck on Minnie's ear. Um, I flipped through them, and there's, there's some cool cards in here. There's like a Larry Fitzgerald rookie card and a Kobe Bryant in these hard sealed cards, rookie card. But what interested me most is down in here, this right here, let's try and get it out. That is an ounce of silver, <laughs> which is, I think silver spot is like 20, 22 bucks. So this is 22 bucks cash just instantaneously. Um, and uh, I bought this whole box for $10. So really I bought it just to buy this. You can't buy an ounce of silver at 10 bucks. So uh, right there, I've doubled my money. Um, probably just stashed that somewhere, but I might sell it, who knows. And then there's a bunch of sports cards. 
I will probably not do much with these, but there was some that might have some value in the hard cases. I might look them up on eBay when I have a minute at some point and see if they're worth selling. And then if not, <clears throat> just pawn it off on Facebook Marketplace or something and take some pictures or maybe group up some, you know, like there was a big stack of Michael Jordans. Maybe I'll just group them all up and, you know, sell them for 15 bucks or something on, on eBay. But <clears throat> made my money back on the, the silver, so no problem there. Um, let's see. What else? So I made a deal with this guy, $25. I got a stack of most of these games. Some of them came from other buys. Um, but most importantly, he's doing Castlevania, which is Castlevania Bloodlines Genesis. There we go. And that's 100 to $150 game. He also threw in this cool Nickelodeon like radio alarm clock. And he just threw that into the deal. So I got a bunch of these games for 25 bucks plus the alarm clock. Alarm clock was, goes for between 30 and $50. Um, <clears throat> that I'm sure I could, I could put that up and sell it in 10 minutes at $100, but I'm gonna shoot for like 150 on it. Um, kinda nuts. <clears throat> Excuse me, same place I bought the sports cards. I saw this mystery box. I still don't know what this is. I just know that I scanned the barcode right there and I saw comps, oh, it's blurry, for between 60 and $195 sold. So I didn't really have to know what it was at that point because it's new and sealed, whatever it is. It looked like it might be, I did not read any of this stuff, but it looked like it might be one of those things that you hook up like under a car to read the um, <clears throat> this the signal or the the problem light the engine check engine light or something like that's what it looked like it could be but it could be something totally different I don't know what it was just saw that when I scanned that barcode it was the same thing like a little object and again and again and again in a couple of these boxes um, like opened with the object in it and it was going for between with sold comps of between sixty and one hundred ninety five dollars so I was like yeah, how much you want for this and I think I think I paid. With this and a stack of CDs that were sealed, I think I paid eight bucks collectively, so <clears throat> no problem there. This Harry Potter mug, no idea. Changes color though with coffee in it. Uh, got it for a dollar, so just figured I'd give it a shot. Picked up some Blu rays and a couple books, and you know, just a random sampling. They were sealed, some of them, except for that one. I is not, it's just a uh, Batman animated series usually that's that sells and picked up this it's new sealed and it's got it for 50 cents this Batman thing was in that $170 deal it looks like it sells for about 50 bucks uh, this thing right here was literally just in a giveaway pile free looked it up and uh, it actually goes for 25 bucks online it's a Hyun solo and then I bought this one, um, and it looks like I can get about 15 for this one, so I don't know. Uh, this thing right here, it's kind of gross up here, but it's still new sealed, and it was scanning for between 30 and $50, so I'll probably see if I can clean that up a little bit, and hopefully get that clean, and I can get 30 to 50 bucks out of it. I haven't scanned this, but even though the box is a little beat up, it's new inside, those are usually different ones versions of these thermostats anywhere from 20 to 60 bucks <clears throat> down here i don't know if i can see it if you can see it here it's like a a woody and toy story piggy bank big old plastic one got it in that auction of the or the, the uh, purchase of the disney and lego and magic the gathering card stuff and let's see so, Catan Jr. Picked that up for two bucks. I might just keep it. I don't know. And then coming over here to this table. Um, bought that for a dollar. Actually bought it for 50 cents. And it sells for about 22 bucks. Just a little Walkman, Sony. Uh, this sells for between 50 and 90 dollars. I got it for five bucks. This is like, it's cool. It's a keyboard, like, you know, typing on the computer. But then underneath, it's a keyboard, like playing music. Um, it's a MIDI, so I think it, what you play goes into a program on the computer and 
you know, records it. And uh, that thing also goes for 50 to $100, depending. I have to look a little more information on why the difference is between the sales and uh, with comps. And that was $5. And this I got for, I essentially got that for free, just thrown in when I bought those. And uh, it looks like it sells for between 20 and 30, but I might just keep it. It does have a lot of wear on this, but the keys and everything are all fine. Bought this from some kids just because I actually kind of felt bad for them. I don't think it's worth anything. Uh, they were just little kids having their own little garage sale. Um, this Logitech keyboard is new. Inbox, I bought it for 15 um, because it's new inbox and had a ton of sales for between 50 and and 85 dollars. So I figured it'd be a quick flip since there was a ton of sales of it and it's new in box. This one below it kind of does like that calculator solar power thing. Um, I see sa sales about 26 to 30 on this. I got this one for five as well, but I think I'm actually just going to keep and use that one for our front room. Um, so I'm trying to see. Yeah, there's just a lot of stuff to like look up and go through with the magic the gathering cards and the Disney stuff. Some more Disney stuff back there, but um, I mean it's it's a substantial pile. So yeah. Anyways, that's all for this week.